And thank Glenn Mullen, who's been a friend of the show from day one. He's been close to the action on everything that's gone on with the likes of Chevy Singh, Steve Keane and Blackburn Rover supporters. And uh, Glenn, good day all round then, eh? Um, today, um, it's not, not the best of performances, but um, a lot of relief in the stands, really. Uh, obviously, that, the manager's finally been removed. You know, the amount of supporters that were staying away from Ewood Park, it, it was unsustainable for the club's future, loss of revenues and that. And uh, now it's time to draw a line under it and start looking forward and uh, the sport has been 12 man. Glenn, have you got any sort of background to the reason why Steve Keane resigned? It just seemed very strange that he was travelling down yesterday and he, he, he found out some news that made he, he thought his position untenable after all the battles that he's been through, with all the grief he's taken with fans like yourself and, you know, the Steve Kinn out and all the planes going over the stadium. It seems strange that he, he chose this time to go. I'm led, I'm led to believe that, obviously, the decision was made over the weekend and there was a press release sat on Derek Shaw's desk for three days. Um, Steve Kinn was uncontactable over the weekend and the telephone call was made by his wife, I've had it from club sources, to um, Puna, um, basically saying, you know, the whole world knows he's been removed from his job, apart from Steve. So there was a lot of wranglings over um, him looking at constructive, uh, constructive dismissals. Um, and it was some sort of agreement. You know, the guy put his resignation in, and, um, you know, as supporters, we'd rather just draw a line under it. Whatever he wants to do with his legal wranglings, he's down to him. That's you know, all about now the club moving forward. Glenn, the big thing is, though, when you resign, you sort of waive any compensation that's meant to come your way. And also, how easy is it going to be for Steve Keane to get another job? Um, well, I honestly believe that he's still attacking and uh, taking his CV. He'd probably go and he'd put it down as he's resigned to you know, let the gentleman keep his uh, dignity. Um, I know the Blackburn fans have been writing to AFC Wimbledon for the last week, trying to... Oh, so I think we might have lost Glenn there. It's been a little bit too much champagne down at the Valley, but <laughs> the frustration has gone right out the window for them Blackburn fans, but now they've got no excuses. No, is that who they're going to moan at now? But, um, I just think it um, sort of epitomises how Blackburn's been running in the last you know, 18 months since the Venkis uh, have taken over. They, know, they know nothing about football. They had a brilliant uh, chairman there, John Williams, who knew his football and he knew how to run a football club, got rid of him completely. You get these people come in who haven't got a clue how football's run, um, and as uh, Glenn was saying there, if there's a, you know, a uh, piece of paper on someone's desk saying, well, we're going to sack him, it's not a professional way to run. If you're no, going to get rid of someone, happen? you pull someone in on, on the Monday, say, look, it hasn't worked. They obviously thought that if they made he, him resign, as you said, that you don't get compensation. But he's taken, trust me, these days, managers don't do anything without taking legal advice and from the, uh, the LMA League Manager Association. They've got their legal people. They will say to him, actually, you, you, they've made your position untenable. You have to resign. We will fight the compensation battle for you. But Glenn now just, and the fans just think, right, I'd be interested to know who they want in. What manager they want coming in? I think Tim Sherwood's been muted in, in a lot of circles to take over. But he's got no, another one. He has no manager experience. Same as what Steve Keane. No manager experience. Exactly. Uh, Glenn, no, it's good to yeah. obviously have you back as well. What about the fans? Although you drew 1-1 to that Charlton, it's a tough place to go. Were the fans in party mood? Uh, say again, sorry? Were the fans in party mood uh, prior to the game today? Uh, there was uh, quite a large uh, number of fans that went down. There was, there was in party mood. Obviously, the product on the pitch was no better than we've had all season. Um, I know people were saying we were third in the league. I think we're fifth now. Uh, let, let's not lose any illusions. Blackman haven't played well at all this season, and um, that was evident again today. You know, we need a manager in now who knows how to organise a very, very good squad of players because uh, that's what Blackman Rovers have got for a championship side. Our squad of players with the experience we've got in there, the money we spent this. You know, we need somebody in there at that club now who knows how to get the best out of those players and to take the team forward. Glenn, who's the, the favourite amongst the fans? You must have a chat and think, you know, we'll draw up a short list. This is the player that we're, or the manager we want in. Who who would you want in? Um, well, you know, there's a lot of names being linked at the moment. There's a few ex-Blackman players being linked in. Sherwood, Gary Flickcroft, uh, along with that Janssen. Uh, Jürgen Klinsmann's been uh, linked, uh, Hitzfeld, another name that's been uh, rumoured. Uh, I think, you know, talking to most of the fans, all they want is somebody who's experienced and somebody who's been there, done it, worn the T-shirt and uh, can get the best out of the players. But at the same time, after rapport with the supporters that a community town football club, which Blackburn Rovers is, has always enjoyed.
Right, Glenn, here's one for you then. If you paid Harry Redknapp's um, private plane and a private jet, would you want to see him in charge at Blackburn? Uh, Harry, Harry Redknapp's a, a sensational uh, manager. I just I can't see him uh, moving up north and that. It'd be fantastic if he did. Uh, having a, perhaps a Tim Sherwood underneath him to do a bit of mentoring. Um, Harry Redknapp's been forgetting the best out of you know players and that lot. But I also think Harry Redknapp's used to having quite a large budget. You know, he spent a lot of money at Portsmouth, a lot of money at Tottenham. He, he likes to bring his own players in. I think Blackburn just need a manager who can come in and actually manage the players they've already got because they've got a good squad. Glenn, we're going to have to let you go, mate, because we've got loads of other people queued up. But it's great. You're always a friend of this show. Good luck to Blackburn. Congratulations in uh, not letting this... Uh, you're like a dog with a bone for the last 12 months. And hopefully it's onwards and upwards. All right, that's great, gentlemen. Good evening. Cheers, Glenn.